all right hey guys uh, so I tried doing a first ride the other day with my GoPro and I had some technical difficulties and uh, it resulted in not the technical difficulties but the ride the first ride that I was taking resulted in a crash as you can see my beautiful Daytona now is no longer mint condition Luckily, I had the engine covers and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I got it on video, which is cool. Uh, audio didn't turn out very well, but uh, I did get it on video. I have not posted it yet. I intend to do so probably once I get... I'm going to try and wait to release that one until I get... I haven't decided yet, but a certain number of subscribers, maybe a thousand or something... But, uh, yeah, either way, I'm going to do my first ride. I'm just going to take you on my route, uh, my normal route that I take uh, close to my home. It's pretty nice, pretty nice little route. And we'll, uh, go from there. So I'm going to take us to, from here we're going to go to Red Top Mountain from my house and then uh, up towards Cartersville and there's some good roads over there that I like. Well, it's like about a 40 minute loop which is about how long my GoPro camera battery lasts. So we're going to give it a shot and see how it works out and not crash this time. Oop. So, uh, so yeah, this is going to be like a test, uh, as far as camera angle and audio and all of that, you know, we'll see how it goes. It's a little bit of trial and error, but I'm trying to get this set up so I can go out we can go on some uh, different rides. I ad adjusted my suspension yesterday. Well, and today. I adjusted it last night and took it for a test ride and then I gave it a little fine tuning this morning and it feels pretty good right now. It just as I've pulled out of my apartment, it feels pretty good but we'll see how it goes on the rest of the ride. It was set extremely soft. The entire time I've had this bike, it was on a very soft, very soft setting, which I did not realize, and I didn't bring my dang riding boots. But, uh, yeah, I really should go back and put my riding boots on. Just take a second. There you go. I was really glad I was wearing them when I went down the other day. I had a pretty stub toe, which I don't know how that happened inside that hard-toed riding boot. But uh, I'm definitely glad that I didn't have tennis shoes on like I've got right now. So. Right before I started this bike up, right before I started the bike up, I uh, got the text message from Triumph over in Roswell, brand new Tri Triumph dealership, and uh, my parts came in that I ordered to fix this up, my bar end over here, and uh, turn signal and whatnot. So, geez, I got grandma in front of me here.
just a second to make sure my door closes. Uh, uh. Do this again. the sound works out pretty good i've got a gopro hero 8 and i'm using a purple panda uh lapel mic which is routed from the camera inside my helmet via the gopro media mod So we'll see. It, I tell you what, this purple panda and the medium odd situation was kind of ridiculous. It took me some more hours than it should have to figure out what was going on with that. And since we got a little bit of traffic here, I'm gonna go ahead and go back here by the oh college. No, I'm not because there's school in session right now gonna be busy back there anyway so yeah this is a nice uh, nice little ride to uh, Red Top Mountain across the lake I believe four times on this route at different points I'll try to give you all a good view decent view I love the way this triumph sounds Yeehaw. Might as look good. Wow. So yeah, this is my uh, this is my normal route. I like to do, you know, almost every day. I usually wait till about sunset because there's some really good spots to check out the sunset. But I've been anxious to test so I finally got the audio situation worked out last night and yeah, wow there's a nice uh what is that Nissan 300 ZX or something looks like it was in good shape This thing's feeling pretty good right now. I've been worried about it after I crashed it. But it's feeling pretty solid right this second. Okay, so here's one of the lakes. I used to like ripping across at full throttle on my uh, KTM in third gear. It would sound pretty cool rolling across the lake. But this thing's just too fast. Gears are too long. It's not the same. So yeah, there's... Lake Ackworth. Wow.
Come on. Jeez. say these uh there definitely were some uh, advantages to having that little ktm the gears on this thing are so long i pretty much stay in unless i'm getting like on the highway or going way too fast i don't get out of second gear which kind of you know it's fun running through the gears using your gearbox Unless I'm just cruising like this, but as far as actually getting into the throttle, I mean, uh, it's doing 102 at the top of second gear, so. Come on, you kidding me? I might have to pass these assholes. Doing 25 here. That is, jeez, man. See, these are some good curves right here too. But it's it's hard to find it. It's hard to. Find, I mean, this there's always people on this damn road. What the heck, man? Come on. It's fucking ridiculous. Another advantage to you know something like my KTM RC390 is it's so quiet. This thing is so freaking loud, it just draws attention from you know even far away. Like KTM, I could cruise through here at high RPMs, you know, 70 miles an hour, and it's not really, it's not even, I mean just not suspicious this thing freaking screams but I got those guys out of my way now so and we got a couple good curves here coming up so I'll try to make the most of it there's somebody up there so I'll hold back here until I get up to the good roads too. Come on, get 
the piece of shit Nissan out of my way. Jesus. Yeah, this fucking guy. See, this is a real good, real good plan. Oh, wow. Yeah, this suspension feels beautiful right now. I'll be taking this thing to the track next month. We're on October. It's October 1st today, so. Um, November, like, 16th, 17th, something like that. I'll be taking this to uh, Little Talladega over in uh, Alabama. It'll be my first time on the track. I can't wait. They're, they're also running out there this weekend, but I didn't make it. Given my crash on Monday, or Sunday rather, and uh, a few other things. Wasn't able to make it this week, but wow, that's freaking pretty dead. I, oh, really? Is this guy getting in my way over here? No, okay. Now, so this is a nice little park road, nice and tight turns. So we'll see. Hopefully, there's nobody in my way up here. I can run through these curves. I have a decent little clip for you. Uh, I usually come, this is a down and back, so I usually go down kind of slow so I can get the. Uh, uh, So I can get the uh, traffic situation and the... Make sure the park rangers aren't out here. And it's uphill on the way down and on the way back out it's uh, downhill so... Made a little bit more difference on my KTM. This thing... Hills don't really phase it, not at this level. Say this road was more fun on the KTM, <laughs> except I dragged my pegs back there on that real tight, that real tight uh, turn. I dragged my pegs there. Damn it! I'll give them a minute to get out my way. Otherwise, I'm going to be riding their ass on the way back. Get done in a minute. Do 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 damn thing throughout the whole park. This is a stock exhaust too. I love it, but there are some advantages to a smaller bike, I will say. Uh, see, I already caught up to a, and this real nice fun turn here too. This is the tight one. This is the one I scraped my leg, scraped my uh, pegs on, on the KTM.
Well, it's not a bad road to have right down the street from your house, though. Gotta say. Now, I'll go out tomorrow, probably, to the roads, like, closest to me. They're probably 20, 30 minutes from me, but they're the best ones I can go fast on with low risk, so. Um, there's, like, not many houses on them. Not many cross streets. It's Gonna take a quick little uh, detour here up here at the uh, the boat launch. It's a pretty good view of the lake out there and the and the bridge. This bridge is pretty sweet. It'd be a good spot to get some drone footage at some point in time. So there's the lake again. There's a bridge. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, it's like really not busy out here. I mean, it's Friday, but... Last Sunday when I came through here, it was packed. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep cruising because I need to get my uh, GoPro footage. I'm trying to finish this route before the battery dies. It's real close, so I'm already I'm a couple minutes delayed from having to go back and put my boots on. So let's see what we got here. Oh. I'm just going to let him go for a second. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I didn't pull out in front of him because I would tore ass across the bridge. So. I still might. Give it a little gas. Real good turn right up here too. I'm gonna let, let these two cars in front of me get through it. That way I can. Oh, looks like they're moving along at a pretty good clip. Oh, there they go. There's... Oh. Good spot for a, a good spot for a wheelie, but dang. I don't know what the heck's going on in there? A boating accident or something if I had to guess. Yeah, see this is where, uh, at sunset, I like to take this route at sunset. Back there at the boat launch, it's beautiful at sunset, and then I come here and it's beautiful. And then, uh, as I continue down this road, it's just stunning at, at uh, sunset, if you get a good sunset, you know. So I'm just going to take it nice and easy because that copper's up there. See if he pulls in by uh, a lot of times. I'll go sit here at this uh, 
salt storage building here. That's really about the only spot that I see them at. Sitting in there sometimes. Okay, good. He's getting out of my way. Now, turning left here at these lights is an awesome road, but I'm not going to go that way this time because that's where I crashed. And, uh, yeah. We're going to stay away from that one for a little while. That's another road that you can take pretty quick. And it's real safe. There's no houses. It's just a road through a field. Usually not hardly any traffic. Everybody goes, I mean, everybody turns this way to get on the highway. See, I mean, turn left here. There's, look, everybody's, nobody goes that way. Yeah, see? bridges and these little uh, mountains right here man they look good um, uh, yeah see this, these are pretty fun turns to take pretty fast but wow yeah this suspension feels beautiful this thing feels beautiful good roads right up here these are my favorite roads again I don't know this one's these ones are well Bates Road is uh, better on this because it's longer and uh, you know Green Ridge was slightly better on the KTM I think Beautiful ride. And these roads are usually pretty slow. good one they're all there's some houses out here but they're all really long driveways 
and the uh, sight lines are pretty good and I know the road well enough to where I know where the fucking you know, where the uh, driveways are at and whatnot. So I'm gonna shut up now and ride. Guy right here to the right's got a nice Corvette. I ride with him sometimes. You know, I've followed him through here a few times playing with him. On the KTM, I'd keep up with him. I'd be riding his ass on the little 390 through here. Frickin' suspension is just... It is on point. I'll tell you what. Copper, nope. See, that's a fun one to take fast, but I'm not gonna do it with a car right there. There's a couple, uh, a couple more good curves through here. Actually, there's a bunch more. Such a beautiful day out. It's perfect, perfect temperature right now. Right here rolling through the shade and whatnot. There's a new house going up right there. Such a good run. I'm just gonna go slow down here for a second and let that guy get out of my way. Make sure nobody rolls up behind us. Give him a minute. is all this oh leaves 
this is a great road right here it's a little tighter than that one a little slower pace Someone along this road hates me. This crazy Karen ran out in front of the fucking road in front of me. I think it might have been her, I don't remember. All I know is she runs out in front of the damn road, stomping her feet like a fucking crazy idiot. That guy right there that was sitting on his porch is cool. He's got a four-wheeler. He's out here sometimes. He waves to me when I roll by. is so much better after I adjusted it. And dang it. Freaking Toyota in front of me. Now this is part of the There's several more good turns up here so I'm gonna go ahead and let them get out of my way a little bit. good one to wheelie over but it's just not safe right here oh no don't fall out in front of me thank you very much Road, man. I love it, love it, love it. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is another place I like to stop and take a break sometimes. I'll just drive by it since I'm right here. It's a nice little lake right here. Or pond, I guess, rather. But yeah, let's uh. signal would be nice. Okay, I was smelling oil. I thought it was from me. It's from the Jeep. Good to know. Is this
So we're on the home stretch now. It's pretty boring. I'll probably be fast forwarding through most of this. This angle is decent. I don't think it's. I think it's facing down low a little too much, but we'll see. I, I, we'll see. Apparently, I'm getting 32 miles a gallon. I can make it back in time to go to Triumph and pick up all my parts, so I can do that tonight. This freaking thing is feeling good though, I gotta say. Oh, so I guess I'll take this time to uh, talk about my plans for the channel so I think my intention is here's the last well no there's one more lake crossing actually yeah another nice spot of the lake I love this lake it's pretty high this year there's been a lot of rain uh, winter time sometimes it can get real low which I'm sure you'll see if I'm uh, uh, I'm, so, I'm sure I'll do some winter rides, but we'll see. I got. Oh come on, really? All the way back here? Holy crap! people off so yeah I'm thinking about making it like a, a history kind of channel there's a lot of Native American and obviously Civil War history here in Georgia so I think that's kind of like a untouched niche that I could take advantage of and would enjoy uh, so yeah, we'll see where that goes. We'll see. I might have to get a different motorcycle for that eventually, because this thing... I mean, I love it, but I think I'm going to turn this thing into a track bike or something. Because... I need something slightly more comfortable to ride around long distances. light sucks in case you're wondering at least it's not too hot out today Our 
three. And you know what? Just in case the uh, battery's still going, I'm gonna go ahead and take a stroll through downtown Athworth real quick and get a little footage of that. Hopefully the battery's still going. It feels like it's been pretty quick. Oh, I meant to stop at Red Top Mountain and make sure everything's operating correctly. Hopefully I didn't. Well, hopefully I didn't get more bad footage. It's, or unusable footage, rather. So yeah, believe it or not, there's actually a couple of, well, I don't know, I think that restaurant's pretty good back there too, that Dogwood Terrace. I haven't been there yet though, but uh, Henry's up here is excellent, excellent um, Louisiana style food. I'll show you as we pass, right up here on the strip mall to the right, before we get to the pedestrian railroad crossing up there. Trying to get the angle, make sure we can see it. Henry's up here with the green awning. It's a great restaurant. And then, uh, The other one, well, actually, there, there's a barbecue place straight ahead around the corner, uh, around the curve. That's also top-notch JD's Barbecue. Then there's a pizza place a little bit further down from that, which is awesome. They're from actually from uh, the Quad Cities, Illinois, so it kind of tastes like home. Actually, it really tastes like home. It's pretty, uh, pretty sweet. Uh, and then this uh, 1885 Grill. Right on the other side of the tracks over here. 